something like that. So what are some of your favorite uh, Ugandan dishes? Uh, it varies, you know, I've been here for 30 years, so I can choose anything like sweet potatoes, then I have to find out if I have some green vegetable and, you know, mix it with the uh, uh, seems in pace and yeah. things like that. Yes. Yeah. So, you got some sneakers? Yeah, I got some Travis Scouts. Yeah, so, I have a brother here with uh, some good sneaks. What are these called? Uh, Satan Gold Travis Scott. This is a new, uh, new, uh, new outlet? This uh, a new yes. one? Or? Yes, I bought it from an auction. They they had an event. How much is this one going for? Um, 400. Yeah, that's, that's a good price, yeah? Yeah, that's a good price. Let me see. Let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah for, you, for the love of sneakers, so you can see. It's a good ride, eh? Welcome back to my channel. If you are still new here, this is Street Mike. I'm in a very, very interesting part of Copenhagen and I want us to take a walk around here. This is Vestabro. It's, uh, the, uh, it's part of the Copenhagen district that is located just in the middle of Copenhagen. Uh, this area, particularly a whole a lot of history of Copenhagen but most notably it has a uh, uh, what um, a meat uh, town uh, here in Copenhagen all the meat in Copenhagen was slaughtered somewhere here in Copenhagen in, in Vesterbro so I think that we shall have time to have uh, a walk around this area and see how Vesterbro has transformed uh, since it was known for all these other things and what it is now and just right around us here, uh, we have um, a new metro station. Uh, you know, backside here, this is a Copenhagen uh, a central station where all the trains uh, come and stop at and also, uh, you know, uh, transition from. So we are just right in the middle of Copenhagen. Uh, Vesterbro is just right on our back, this side. So I think it's uh, high time we take a walk here and see what uh, here in Vesterbro because as we can see uh, just along here uh, this uh, most of the area where the uh, uh, African uh, uh, food market you know when they say African you know don't expect to see Africans here uh, it's sometimes uh, they have the, the Arab people doing most of the, the selling here uh, these are some of the the things, uh, the food uh, stuff that Africans come and buy here, as you can see. Here I can see uh, Uganda yam. Uh, all along here there are lots of different fruits and vegetables that come from different countries. So along here mostly is uh, uh, the African food. And uh, you can see all this. Uh, so Vesterbro is commonly known for the nightlife. It's a very vibrant part of Copenhagen. Uh, when you take all the streets here, you'll, you'll find that uh, Vesterbro is one of the most lively part of Copenhagen. But right now we are just at the outskirts. Hi. Uh, we're just at the outskirts of Copenhagen, um, of Vesterbro, Vesta which is also just this to see something you know, uh, Africa around this side. Uh, let's walk around and see. Hi, bro. How are you? I'm good. Are you looking for something yeah. from uh, from home? Yes. Where are you from? How are you? I'm good. I'm just taking a vlog here, trying to see what we have here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Where are you from? Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. Only here. Gentle. Uh, Kopango. Kope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a lot. I'm from Uganda too. Uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, northern part of Uganda, Lira. Lira? Yes. Yeah. 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 Ah, I'm not here. Uh, 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 I'm not uh, doing my kind. <laughs> so, okay, we, we went into our language, so don't mind. Uh, we just simply saying hi, how are you doing, uh, yeah, and stuff that, like that. that. Yeah, so, so, I'm looking for some okra and then uh, maybe sweet potatoes and uh, yeah, yam or something like that. So, what are some of your favorite uh, Ugandan dishes? Uh, it varies. You know, I've been here for 30 years. so. 
I can choose anything no, like sweet potatoes, one. then I have to find out if I have some green vegetable and you know mix it with the uh, uh, seems in pace and yeah. things like that. Yes. Yeah. So just tell us a little bit, you know, like um, now here, mm. how you buy this uh, this uh, African food here. Mm. Yeah, like uh, you talk about uh, sweet potato and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Tell them the difference for Uganda price and a, and, and a Danish price. Uh, here you, they sell it in kilos. You know, yeah. you know the, if you take two potatoes, how many uh, kilograms of grams? And that is when they charge you for. But in Uganda, it's different. You know, they they, they, they pile it and then they say, okay, this is the quantity, uh, and then it costs this much. Yeah. So, so it's a, a price difference. It's, it's a lot. It's quite visible. Yeah. Yeah. How, how much is a kilo? You always buy normally. Uh, normally one kilo. One kilo. How, how much does it cost a kilo? Uh, here. Compared to Uganda currency. Uh, like here is uh, 35 per kilo. Yeah. And in Uganda, price you multiply by 500 yeah yeah so it's like uh, 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 about uh, uh, let's see uh, about 13 pounds something like that. Uh, yeah something uh, like that yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, i would say about seventeen thousand. So are you getting good supply since you've been here for 30 years or you do you encourage some of them? Yeah, I like, I like to take but it uh, depends on uh, if everybody wants to take it. Yeah, so uh, I only come and then say okay today I come and pick something I like and then uh, that's what my friend That's what you're, yeah. yeah. Sure. Philip, nice meeting you eh? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so okay. I'm here with a brother Philip from Uganda so mm -hmm. happens to be real neighbors you know. Okay. And we do the Kopango so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah, say hello to my people. S hello. Thank you so much Philip. Okay. Eh? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm, yeah. So I just um yeah I met up with a Ugandan and not just a Ugandan, a, a close neighbor. You know, in Uganda, unlike here in Europe, we still have different tribes. Uh, people speak different languages, though languages transition from one to another. So he speaks a different language, I speak a different language, but we understand each other and we nearly speak the same language but with different dialects. So and we are the same people. So. But uh, that's interesting. So, uh, it's a small world. So, uh, I'm here uh, on the street. I don't know what it's called. So, I won't bother you so much with that. And uh, seeing the transition from uh, this block, this line is known for uh, African foodstuffs. And uh, so, uh, if you're interested in business and you want to do something like that, it's a place that you can come and you know find out if you can get a plot uh, that you can bring African stuff and supply with the people. Yeah. But as I know, you know, uh, this place of Norbro has, I mean, of uh, vegetable has really transitioned because of late, maybe a year or less, uh, they got a metro station, a new metro station, uh, which is just right here. When you come here, you go down uh, and you just take a metro. Over there, there's a train station. Hello, bro. Hello. How are you? Uh, YouTube, yes. Oh, I just take a vlog. I've seen you for before. Yeah, we've seen you before. Yeah, yeah. Hey. street bike, right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. How are you? Uh, where did we meet in uh, somewhere in. Uh, uh, we have been hmm? to the Comex Sneaker. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've been there, yeah. Yeah, you too? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah. Thank did you so much. Mind? Yeah, you, you no, know, I just want to go vlogging and do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You, got, you got some sneaker? Yeah, I got some Travis Cards. Yeah, so. I have a brother here with uh, some good sneaks. What are these called? Uh, Sabin Gold Travis Scott. This is a new, uh, new, uh, new outlet? This uh, a new yes, one yes, I bought it from an auction. They, they have an event. How much is this one going for? Um, 400. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good price, yeah? Yeah, that's a good price. Let's, let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah for, for the love of sneakers, so you can see, it's a good ride, right? So, yeah. thank you for yeah. showing our people. Yeah. Uh, my channel called Street Mike. Street Mike? Street, eh? Mike Street. Street? Yeah, Space Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah. You can find me out on Street Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. So, yeah, sure. Have a nice one. I like it, thank you. So, as I was saying, uh, uh, this uh, Vesta Bro has just uh, gotten themselves a new metro station, uh, which is right down here. Mm. And uh, this makes the travel here very convenient uh, because uh, some people prefer to take the metro. Others take the bus lanes that are all over the, uh, the city and others also take the train just right above here we have the train station. So uh, Vesterbro has gained a lot in value when it comes to transport and uh, you know maybe housing values increase 
when you get a facility like this. Uh, I think we shall get time to do a metro tour uh, uh, later on. But let's uh, just take a little uh, adventure through uh, Vestable, which is uh, known for its uh, nightlife and uh, the beauty and uh, yeah, something like that. Yes, hello. Hi. So as you can see, uh, Copenhagen, which is the biggest city in Denmark, uh, really try to make it uh, very uh, convenient for these people. Uh, in the street, you can see like this ring of green, greens here. Yeah, people come and, 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 and sit and chill and have a good time. And um, you can see also something like this, you know, this, this water. Right? So working today? Yeah, but uh, of course you find this all over the city. Hope it's gonna work soon. Maybe it's new or something. Uh, but this is water, and you can see how, how convenient uh, the the city life is. It's a very beautiful part of Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen is a city of bikes and uh, you can fail to see them all over. So, if you are still new here, it's the first time watching us, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I'll be doing a lot of the city tours and showing you different parts of, uh, of, of, of the areas we go to. I've just talked about uh, fruits and vegetables and most of these things come from uh, Africa, come from Asia, so you find them being sold also on the sides of the road just like this. And I see these are African food, so too. They name it African food, but people who come from different backgrounds to buy them. Yes, uh, so let me know how you feel uh, about this uh, vlog that I've started, uh, touring Copenhagen. I'll be taking you uh, everywhere we can. I want to show you the beauty of this Copenhagen because this is summer and people come out to enjoy uh, the beauty of the city, just like you can see. Right now, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, evening. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so it's really beautiful in Copenhagen when it comes to summer, everybody's happy because the sun is out and we love to sit out and eat like you can see. Uh, just a beautiful setting. So if you want to come over and just have, you know, uh, eat outside, it's, it's the most beautiful feeling you get. So this vestibule just outside uh, the central station which is of course when you come to Copenhagen you have to read past the central station before you go anywhere you have to first get to a central station and vestibule will be one of the places you would come to uh, have a, a good time so you can just take a walk outside leave your bus the train wherever and just take a walk and enjoy all this beauty
So I think we should take a walk this way. So as you can see, this is a, a big open area here. Uh, coming right from the meat processing over there. Hundreds and hundreds of meters coming to this side. It's an open spot where you can uh, park your bike. Just chill and chill. Just like you can see people doing. And uh, just enjoy because you are already in Vestabro. Copenhagen's finest. <laughs> So I remember we talked about the meat area, uh, just like the butcher of Copenhagen, you know, historically, this place is quite old, going back to 1900, but it has been preserved right within the city, and you can see at our back here, uh, this is the beginning, you see this, this blue uh, uh, building, this is where, uh, you know, uh, the beef, uh, area of course i think there are also fish and other things so i don't know if we're gonna have to explore uh, that far but uh, I, pre I presume we should take this way so uh nothing much interesting right here but when you cross to the other side I think uh, we're gonna see uh, some of the, the beautiful part of Vestabro uh, 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 right here in Copenhagen. But wherever you watch us from, please know that for me to keep making this content and reach out to many people, you have to like, comment, share. You know, it gives uh, YouTube that uh, interest of sharing my video to many people out there. So it's a bright sunny day. Today is a, a very uh, memorable day because it's the day of the final of the Euro uh, where England will be playing against uh, Spain. Yeah. England will be playing against Spain just in an hour or two. So this will be also a memorable video for you will be watching sometime in the future. So you can see here is the meat area big as you can see as your eyes can see far in here uh, we have uh, different uh, places that people come to pick up meat also slaughter meat so just right in here i think it, you see it's better to to have a walk in here and see you know so as i've told you uh, denmark with the outdoor uh, activities when it comes to summer is amazing you can see this the setup the seats all over you know these are restaurants and in this place so it's a rather interesting place too it's really beautiful so where are you watching me from let me know and tell me if you have something like this, especially where we are right now, in in your in your area. So we also have somewhere there your Asian food specialist. So Very interesting to be in this particular area right now. So as your eyes can see, this is the mid area of Copenhagen. It's as big as you can see.
Are you surprised with Vesterbro? This is not all. As I've told you, Vesterbro is known for so many other things than just this area we're in. It's just a small cover so far we are making. But uh, I think it's very... I think let's take this way. So this big space is right within the city center. And uh, I remember there was a time they were talking about uh, putting it down and building something new. But I think they completely refused that this place be maintained because of its uh, historical um, nature so it will remain and but it's beautiful and you can see people are in here mm. but it's a rather beautiful day oh. hello hi <laughs> yes <laughs> so hi uh, yeah Take a picture? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's enjoying the sun, yeah. so he wants some picture. Yeah. 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 Where are you from? Mukoma mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you see here yeah, in Denmark people really love to enjoy the sun and people need each other, you know. Mm -hmm. Enjoying yourself somewhere. And you talk to people. So, it's a beautiful day. People having, you know, a typical Danish drink. Have a bottle before you go home. So, as I've told you, this place is very big. You can't even finish. Let's take this way. Mm. Tell me in the comment section some of the places you want to see here in Denmark. Uh, if I can, uh, you know, get to, to create a video about uh, those particular topics, I'm very interested in sharing with you uh, some of the things you would like to see. But above all, this also for us is a study of a world that Denmark is one of the best countries in the world. And uh, so, which means that some of the systems they use could be borrowed by leaders, by people. You know, they want to be, want to improve their environment. So, I think that making videos in this particular kind of uh, uh, in different topics will make a big difference in the kind of videos we make every day. So. Yes, hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Yes, are you, are you you're working with Volt? Yes, boss. How is yeah. it going? It's good. It's going good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, what's your name? My name is Graham. It's Graham, good. okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Street Mike. I'm, I'm making videos about uh, this vegetable area. And... Nice to see you, boss. Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah very nice. Guy. Yeah, sure, likewise. Yes. Yeah. How nice to see you, Yeah, likewise, thank you. Yes. <laughs> so that's about it. Yes. How are you boys? How are you? Good. Yes. What's up man? What, what, is, this? what, what is this? I, I'm doing a blog. This is uh, YouTube. YouTube? Mm -hmm. What's your YouTube? What's your name? It's called Street Mike. What? Street Mike. Street Mike. Street Mike. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Uganda but I can't oh. live here. Uh, Where you live? Street. Space Mike. Uh, street Mike. Space. Oh. Uh, space. Uh, Mike. M-I-C. Ah, uh, not Mike. Mice. Mike. Mice. Yeah. Okay. Not mice. I, you you, you, you <laughs> say C. Yeah. C. Not, not E. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah.
Sometimes my video get no 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 that's not me. No, let's say Copenhagen. Okay. I, I, have a video, I have a video about Copenhagen, so you always get me. I'm here. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So drop some of these videos. Yeah. What is your what is your going? The, the, the topic today is just about the festival. I'm just doing a vlog showing the area here, ah, and nice. looks and stuff like that. Yeah. So, are you guys YouTube? Oh no no no. no, no. Yeah. We will follow you. No. Follow me, please. Yes. <laughs> Say hello. What, 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 do you live in Vesterbro? Mm, I used to. Uh, what do you know about Vesterbro? Uh, the best thing? Junkies. Junkies? No, no. I'm told there's a lot of uh, you, nightlife. Uh, yeah. you have, uh, what have you done today? Cash. Uh, no, no. Me, I'm just, I'm just uh, taking a walk around. There's just a very good uh, pizza place up here. I can't remember the name. But yeah. It's uh, now Britannia's Pizza. Really uh, good ice cream right on the other side. It's the best in Denmark. So what, what, what is this area, this specific area, this blue thing? What is it called? Meat City. Meat? Meat City. Meat City, yes. Uh, exactly. I was, saying, I was saying meat area. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 So Especially it was, uh, used to be uh, slaughterhouses. Slaughterhouses, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So, but this is very old, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old do you, do you think it is, historically? Mm. Over 1900? Oh, no, maybe about that. Uh, probably like uh, 70, 70 years old. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, fun fact that uh, Travis Scott, he actually made a music video right here. Okay. Yeah. Travis Scott? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That's uh, some information for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, guys. Eh? Have a nice day. Thank you. See you. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Don't subscribe. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's just about it. As we continue to explore, looking at this other side. Yeah. So, you know, when you meet people, you get to know them, you get to know uh, what happened in, in, in other areas. But uh, above all, you yourself as well get to learn something. So, I also learned that Trevor Scott would also love music. He made video in this area, so this makes it very popular, going viral around the world. Yes, hello. Mm. So it's not a. Uh... It's not just a normal area, <laughs> like uh, I, I thought it was. So now it becomes special for me to share this with you. But as we can see, yeah, new buildings start to crop in. Maybe they made some agreement to make, because here also used to be a blue uh, building. But I see uh, a new shape taking place here. So probably gonna be putting down some portions, small, small, uh, as they transition this part of, of the city. But it's very historical. It's a meat area, very historical to this uh, city. So I think it has been amazing uh, making this particular episode where we just uh, uh, took a random side of the city and uh, I can't wait to, you know, to, to do this again with you in the next episode. I still think that uh, Vesterbro have a lot we haven't even seen, but for what we have so far explored, it was really beautiful. So I would like to say thank you so much for those who have no, watch the video to the end and uh, if you feel like this video can be important to someone that you know please share it but above all leave me a like comment and I hope to see you in the next episode of this video thank you so much